Define creativity. Creativity is coming up with ideas and carrying them out. Is that a good definition? Basically, we're making a video today on a couple things that help us be more creative with the work we're doing. So I make, I'm a filmmaker and editor. I'm a project manager, a consultant that's been trained in human-centered design. So creativity, I use a lot with like different shots I'm getting, how I'm telling a story, how I'm gonna edit. A lot of times creativity is putting one thing that doesn't always fit with another, like maybe rock music with a documentary about North Korea, or dubstep with a wedding film, stuff like that, that you don't traditionally think is gonna go together, but then it fits well and it's learning how to make those things fit well and work together. Uh, the biggest way that I use creativity in work is when we're solving problems, coming up with solutions that people might not have come up with before. I guess you could call that creative problem solving. So here are some tips that we have on how to be more creative. Some of these are things you can do in the short term or immediately to help yourself with creativity. And then there's some other things that are a little bit more like lifestyle changes, I guess, in certain ways that can help you become more creative in the long term. Okay, what short term is make sure you get enough sleep each night. That's huge. Another thing you could do is get kinesthetic. Uh, one thing I used to do at my former company is this thing called dance ideation. So in the middle of the workday, we'd literally just gather a bunch of people and do an ideation session where everyone would come up with a dance move and we'd do a loop around a circle. Sometimes what I do is just changing a space. So maybe I'm working in one space that's my brain is getting numb or something. So I just literally move myself outside or into a different room or go to a coffee shop, something like that. One thing I find that helps me when I'm stuck on a problem and trying to come up with something is simply to take a break. I call it getting computerized. My eyes get really tired. You need to take a break sometimes. Okay, with the long term, it's actually, we have a lot more because the main thing really is just to keep learning. As you learn new things, it's kind of like building a tool belt and you're able to take from those tools as you're creating. A lot of times people say that you should always aim to be the stupidest person in the room because then the only thing that you can do is become smarter. I think you can think of creativity in the same way where you should surround yourself with creative people. Learn another language, that's huge. That helps you with different fonts, different ways of thinking, having different grammatical structures. A lot of languages think about time differently. It's becoming a little bit more self-aware. So learning what types of situations you're able to work better in, uh, what kind of a work style you have. So do you work better generally when you're in a large group of people, working with other people, or when you're working by yourself? Are you the type of person that is able to work better when they're multitasking? Uh, one thing that I do a lot is trying to read lots of different books. Read lots of stories, fiction, nonfiction. Reading gives you so many ideas, especially if you're dealing with story. Some of the things you learn is like their story structure, how do they build a character, what types of words are they using. Whether you are you know, making films or writing or making podcasts, listen to a lot of other people that are doing what you're doing or watch a lot of things from other people that are doing what you're doing. So I watch lots of videos on Vimeo, YouTube. And so I think it's the same with whatever you're doing. But in reality, everything comes from somewhere. So like Justin was saying, he like borrows ideas from other people. I think that's totally fine. I think it's just another way of practicing creativity and getting better at it. I heard a designer say once, when someone hires me, they pay me to fail. When you're working for someone, the truth is you're not just creating one thing and it's gonna be awesome. You're gonna try a bunch of different things and you're probably gonna have eight ideas that are bad for every one that's good. So learn to fail a lot. You can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more creative you become. So keep creating. Obviously, these are just some of the things that help us. I'm sure there's a lot more. Share your ideas with us. If you have other things that help you, it would be great to hear. I hope this was helpful.